Hey there guys and welcome to another episode of What is a Coral? Where today I'm gonna show you all these lovely acans. Just kidding, these are Micromusa. So common name for these corals is acans because they were once considered in the Acanthastria genus. However, the most common coral in the hobby that we call an acan is really considered in the genus Micromusa now. I will continue to refer to these as acans as will 99% of the people in the hobby. However, these corals truly belong to the genus Micromusa, as far as science goes. So these corals right here are one of the most stereotypical LPS corals. They are kind of a mounding shaped large polyp stony coral, massive coral. So as they grow, they grow out in a round shape and basically form almost a boulder shape as they grow. These are definitely a lower light and lower flow demanding coral and they're generally not terribly picky. These are one of the LPS corals that are, are decent uh, for an intermediate to a somewhat advanced beginner in the hobby once you kind of get the idea of keeping your salinity straight and striving for a stable alkalinity then an acan is probably a decent coral to start out with for your sand bed. These corals, as I just mentioned, prefer lower light and lower flow. And in this range of the tank, they also love being fed. So it definitely helps for the long-term um, health and growth of these corals to target feed them with say Coral Max or even feed the tank amino acids or some of these other compounds to make sure that these corals are getting the nutrition that they like and it helps to keep their polyps nice and puffy and nice and happy and helps with their coloration and growth overall. Acans come in a wide range of colors with your most common colors being somewhere in the red shades but you've got some cool oranges like you see here, some blue ones, some green ones. Sometimes you come into some rainbows that kind of have a mix of pinks, oranges, yellows. So they come in kind of all colors under the sun, which is just really cool. And if you wanted to get into collecting of acans, you can generally collect a bunch of acan lords and put them next to each other and they do not sting each other, which is kind of nice. So the most common species of acan to run into in the hobby or Micromusa I should say is the Micromusa lordhawensis. People refer to them as Acan lords, and that is these types that you see here. But there are also a couple other species that you might run across in the hobby. The more classical example of the Micromusa has much smaller eyes, with each polyp being about maybe a centimeter across, maybe a little bit bigger. So there are a lot smaller polyps than you see on these guys here. And that is the Micromusa amacusensis. It's also a very similar uh, coral in terms of growth and in terms of care requirements, and should also be safe to kind of mix with these acans as well, as they don't generally sting each other. So those are generally the two types that you're gonna run across in the hobby, but the care is gonna be almost identical between the two, with the major difference just being the size of each polyp. With regular feedings of these corals, like I mentioned earlier, you will definitely see better results in terms of growth. A lot of times you will also be able to catch these polyps with their tentacles out, which is pretty cool. So when these corals are nice and happy, generally their polyps will be very uh, engorged and filled with water. So the polyps get nice, large and fluffy and they have a bunch of tentacles that kind of radiate from this center. As long as they're pretty well fed, you should see this most of the time. One thing worth mentioning with the acans is these tend to be one of these stony corals that is the most tasty to a lot of our not reef safe critters. Certain shrimps uh, sometimes tend to pick on them as would maybe butterfly fish or angel fish that might be kind of a reef safe with caution. This is probably one of the corals to steer clear from uh, if you plan on adding these fish or you already have them because this is probably the most likely coral to be nipped by some of these iffy reef safe creatures. So Acans or Micromusa, one of the coolest uh, LPS corals out there. Decently easy, uh, just something that likes to be fed, but a great coral for just about any tank. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, let us know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, and keep on reefing.